In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to assemble the square escapement. All the files for this project can be purchased from jbvcreative.com. Link is in the description. Get those files printed. You're going to need some additional parts for this build. The full parts list is available in the download package. And you're going to need a hammer and a screwdriver to put this thing together. So let's start by hammering some bearings into the parts. Make sure that you hammer lightly. The plastic is soft enough that the bearings will go in. Start with hammering a bearing into the anchor and the other bearing goes into the top of the pendulum. Using an M4 by 12 millimeter screw, that goes in through the bearing in the anchor followed by two washers. And then that will screw into the hole in the top of the base. Make sure that there's a free swinging anchor there. Next, grab the square that goes on the post on the base. Grab your spool and slide one end of the string through the hole in the top of the spool. Make sure it's going from right to left. Tie a big knot on the end of the string. It has to be big enough that it doesn't go through the hole. Cut off the excess and then make sure that the string is secure. Grab your fillable weight and fill it with some weight. Anything goes here, just stuff that's heavy enough to give it a little bit of mass. Could be extra hardware, ball bearings, extra bearings, and cap the end of it off. Tie the other end of the string through the hole in the top of the weight. Tie it nice and tight so that the weight is secure. And then wrap the extra string around the spool so it's out of the way. Slide the spool onto the shaft in the center of the base and then secure it with the C-clamp. Grab an M4 by 12 millimeter screw that goes in through the back of the pendulum. Hold it in place with your screwdriver, throw two washers on the end of that, and that will screw into the hole in the back of the base. Make sure that the post on the pendulum slides into the hole on the anchor. Next, we're going to assemble the pendulum. So let's start with the adjuster piece that screws onto the end of the fully threaded rod. Drop the weight on, and then an adapter piece on the other end of that. Now this extension is optional, but if you're using it, screw it into place, screw the other adapter into place on top of that, and then screw the whole thing onto the escapement. Let's move to the wall now. Line up your wall mounting guide in whatever position that you want and make sure that it's perfectly straight using a level. Then mark the holes with a pen or a marker. Using whichever wall mounting method that you want, screw the wall anchors into the wall. Here I just have pre-drilled holes and I'm screwing directly into the drywall and it's strong enough to hold the escapement up. Make sure that the wall anchors are super tight and then screw the wall posts directly onto the anchors. Slide your mechanism onto the wall posts. And then use four C-clamps to hold it in place. Give the pendulum a little swing and the mechanism should be working. Enjoy.